In this video, you'll learn how to transform your Raspberry Pi into a retro gaming platform using RetroPie or Recalbox. We'll compare these two leading emulation systems, walk through flashing your microSD via Raspberry Pi Imager, cover basic configuration, and even show you a detailed SSH-based install of RetroPie on the Raspberry Pi 5. Welcome to Black Device YouTube channel. Before you begin, gather these things. A Raspberry Pi. We recommend you use models 4 or 5 for high performance and flawless emulation. An 8 gigabytes or larger micro SD card and reader. A 5 volts USB power supply. A screen and a HDMI to micro HDMI cable. A USB keyboard and mouse. And optionally, a USB or Bluetooth gamepad for that authentic gamer experience. Let's get started. There are several platforms you can use to transform your Raspberry Pi into a gaming platform, but we'll cover the two main choices. RetroPie, a Raspberry Pi OS-based suite built atop RetroArch, flexible but no games included. Recalbox, a turnkey image with dozens of emulators, Kodi Media Center and Scraper tools, and even some games pre-installed. Both can be flashed via Raspberry Pi imagers, emulation and game OS menu, but only Recalbox currently offers a native Pi 5 image. RetroPie on Pi 5 requires a manual SSH install, which we'll cover shortly. Let's begin by explaining the simplest option, because Raspberry Pi offers you a very easy way to install the emulation software by flashing a microSD card with their imager. Download and launch Raspberry Pi Imager on Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Under Choose OS, select Emulation and Game OS, then pick Recalbox or RetroPie, but this is only available on Raspberry Pi 3 and 4. Select your microSD under Storage. Click right, wait Wait for verification, then eject your card. Now, simply insert the flashed microSD, connect HDMI, power, keyboard and gamepad, then switch on. You'll boot directly into Emulation Station, RetroPie, or the Recalbox interface. Complete the language and controller prompts, then either browse pre-installed emulators that come with Recalbox, or prepare to load your own ROMs in the case of RetroPie. Easy right? In a few steps you are ready to play. Now, let's cover the manual installation of RetroPie on the Raspberry Pi 5. RetroPie doesn't yet have an imager image. Instead, you'll need to follow these SSH steps to install it. Use Raspberry Pi Imager to write the Raspbian OS to your microSD. Boot and SSH in. Insert the card in your Raspberry Pi, power the Pi and set up Raspbian OS. Connect the Raspberry to internet, and then open the SSH console. Check the system is updated typing the command. sudo apt update. If it's not, type the following command to update the system sudo apt upgrade dash y install git sudo apt install git download and install the retropie package following some basic steps for the complete step-by-step -step set of instructions read the article in our blog you'll find the link in the description choose basic install and wait be patient it might take a while enable auto start in the setup scripts configuration slash tools auto start, select start emulation station at boot. Reboot. On restart, emulation station launches directly. Configure your controller when prompted. On both the official RetroPie and Recalbox websites, and in their community forums you'll find in-depth configuration guides, tutorials, troubleshooting tips, and advanced customization options for your retro gaming setup. Check the video description for direct links. You'll see the Raspberry Pi retro gaming community is incredibly active. Don't forget to subscribe for more DIY Raspberry Pi projects. Happy retro gaming. Thanks for watching.